Hello everybody and welcome back to part 26 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Uh, I'm picking up right where we left off after the Fire Temple in the last episode. And uh, the reason I'm doing that is because there is something that we can get here now. Uh, now that we have the Megaton Hammer, we can actually break these, um, these gray blocks, right? Or... okay, yeah, we can. It just takes two hits. And what's actually underneath this hole? Um, business scrubs. And surprisingly, despite the fact we're literally in the crater of an active volcano, somehow there was an underground area filled with grass and other sorts of vegetation. Like, normally that would be something you would think is impossible. But apparently not for th that case, anyway. But anyway, let's hit this and hit it again. Nice. Now we just gotta do that to these rocks. And I think this is the big magic meter, because this is a great fairy fountain, so... And I'm pretty sure this is the one that doubles your magic. Um, I think so anyway. What else could it do? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the double magic one. Alright. Let's hear your uh, horrifying shriek. Okay, it's a different pose this time. <laughs> Welcome, Link. I'm the Great Fairy of Wisdom. I'm going to enhance your magic power. Alright, yeah. Receive it now. So this, yeah, just doubles magic. Which is helpful, because I was kind of running out of magic in the last episode. Or two. Or one of those episodes. I think it was two episodes ago. I don't know. I used too much of Flora's Wind, and I started running out of magic. Your magic meter is enhanced. Nice. Your magic power has been enhanced. That's literally the same thing twice. Now you have twice as much magic power. <laughs> when battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. Alright. Anyway, I like how much bigger we are in comparison to the fairy fountain. Like, everything looks tiny. I mean, the Great Fairy is still freakishly huge, but everything else is pretty small. Alright. Now, there is a piece of heart that we can get here, too, so that's also why I wanted to start the episode off in Death Mountain Crater. And uh, I think these brown rocks can be, yeah, they can be broken in a single strike. Uh, how are we going to do this? Okay, good. Alright. Alright. So there's a fast way down, but we're going to have to do some climbing to get back up. It looks like we completed another heart container, so we're on two rows. We've completed the first row, and we're on the second row now. Not that we completed two rows. But yeah, that's actually really handy. Uh, looks like there's the bright day sky. And uh, yeah. Let's break these rocks, because I, I don't know, I want to. Uh, go inside. There you go. Nothing really of use here. Alright. Anything else? I mean, there's this bridge here that's literally just a plank of wood in an area that makes everything combust. Uh, oh, this might be like a, a gossip stone, maybe? Okay, most things that you can blow up with bombs, you can blow up, or you can break with a megaton hammer, but some things you do still need bombs. I guess I thought wrong in that you can just blow everything up. I don't see anything in here other than the gossip stone. Oh, yeah. Oh my goodness, that's quite a drop. I think... <laughs> nah. Uh, I was trying to see if there's like a way you can jump to the pillar over there because uh, it has a piece of heart. But alas, that just really doesn't seem possible. Like, why does it look like there's like a shiny thing inside the uh, little opening there? I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I really don't see how that's feasible. This is like the closest we can get to it. So yeah, what you're supposed to do is use a magic bean plant. And it will fly you over there. Anyway, this is the entrance that we saw before as Young Link. And yeah, this should take us to the top of the mountain. 
There should be a big Goron here. Yep, big Goron is literally his name. Alright. He'll talk to us and say whatever. My brother opened a new store. It's Medigoron's Blade Store. However, I am better at making blades. Hylian Carpenters praise me for my skills. I'm not lying. I don't know why he draws out his words. That was honestly kind of annoying to read. Alright. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, well, we can take the fast way down, I guess. Um. Can we break these? Oh, yeah, yeah. So the brown ones are the ones that you need the Megaton Hammer. I guess the gray ones are the ones that you can't use either for. Uh, except I think you can lift them up and break them with the silver gauntlets. Now, I think there was a. Uh, a gold skull that spawns here at night, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if that's the case. Yep, I hear it. There it is. Uh, there we go. We got him. We'll go around the mountain and see if there's any other skull So far, I don't really see anything. I doubt I will. There's the Death Mountain Cow. We can hear the moo from over here. Uh, if we go back to Goron City, we'll find that everything is back as it should be. Might as well, why not? Uh, I think we there, there's stuff that we can get. Alright, yeah, so here's this guy. Thank you, Link. I, I have, why do I have the feeling that all of them are just going to say thank you, Link? Well, anyway, um, so if we go into this room, I remember as young Link, uh, I said that we shouldn't really go here yet. And I still feel like we shouldn't go here yet. Because as you see, these uh, gray rocks are totally and completely indestructible. I am hitting the same one over and over. Here, let me just break these stones so they're not getting in the way of my sight. Because I gotta make sure I'm hitting the same one. But yeah, I am hitting the same one. There is a grab option, but if we try that, uh, nothing happens. We cannot lift these stones. So yeah, we want to probably... Well, there's probably something here. Yeah, let's go ahead. I think we can get here. Now that we have the Megaton Hammer, we can at least make some progress. I notice that the brown rocks have a different texture than the red and uh, gray rocks. Uh, there's a chest here. It looks like all it would have is, um, what do you may call it, like rupees or something. Like, it's just a small chest, so I don't know if I want to get it. Probably is just going to be rupees. Alright, uh, I guess that does it right for here, I mean, where else to go, right? Other than, I guess, maybe the area we're supposed to go, which is like Zora's Domain, I think? Where's that coming from, the, the Skultula? I hear the Skultula. Thank you, Link. Yeah, I think they're all just gonna say thank you, Link. Oh, shoot, it's right there. Alright, let's go ahead and get that. We definitely need the hookshot for this one. Hopefully the hookshot can actually reach it. Oh, we I didn't know we can hookshot that. Alright, just making sure there's no others. Actually, we don't need to go there. Uh, where else to can we go? Yeah, I guess there's really nothing to do. Maybe we can go to Kakariko Village, but I'm not even sure what is, what else there's to do there. Um, I'm trying to think. Nah, there, we can't really... All there really is is like a potion shop. A bazaar. Yeah, but we have a good enough amount of items, so... 
Yeah, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and just uh, go to um, how you call it. Let's just go to Hy Hy uh, Lake Hylia. That's what it is. I was gonna call it Hyrule Lake, but I knew that was not the name, and it was bothering me why I didn't remember the name. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, I just remembered something. Um, I think we're like still in night mode because the music's well. There's those guys, so I guess we're in day mode just without music. But like, I just remembered that we can, um, you know, what should we call it? Give Kajiro like we can do the side quest. I think for the uh, bigger on sword. I want to try it. I don't know if we can actually do the whole thing, but we might as well get whatever we can done now. Uh, I think I have like 10 minutes for this episode, so we probably won't be able to do the whole thing. But yeah. Um, I think if we... Oh yeah, since we warped in here, uh, this guy is facing this way. You know, I don't really like the red tunic. Like, red's not really, like, a color that I like. So I'm gonna switch back to green. Anyway, now it should just be one more hit. Yep. Yeah, I like green a lot better. Green and blue. But, uh, green's, like, my favorite color. And, of course, the green tunic is my favorite tunic, so. Probably because it's green. Um. <sighs> is there, like... Does this mean that we can uh, use what's his face, Scarecrow guy? Okay, yeah, we can. So this is like a little shortcut that we could use. Uh, I did not know about that. Also, there's a hole down here. I didn't realize it until I felt the Stone of Agony come uh, vibrate. We got like this weird crystalline-looking area. It has Wolfos. Die. Alright. One hit, one kill. There we go. You guys seriously overcommitted on that second strike. I'm pretty sure this is just rupees, because you can actually go inside this little weird LSD cave as a kid. As early as, like... Technically, you can do it as early as while well, you're still... As soon as you get bombs, basically. So, like, as soon as you get... Uh, out of the Dongo's Cavern, you can come here, blow up this spot in the ground, and it'll be there. Of course, if you have the Megaton Hammer as Adult Link, like I do now, you can actually save bombs by just doing this. Also, you heard a chicken crow. Uh, the reason for that being... Uh, actually, what is this guy? Eh, it's probably nothing important. The reason for that is because the, uh, the guy we need to give Kojiro to is inside here. So yeah, remember that this uh, sorry looking character over here is, uh, well here. He's the guy who likes Kukos in both Majora's Mask and this game. And he's just kind of looks sad. He's just sleeping. But if we give him Kojiro, he'll be ecstatic. K Kojiro? Why? Normally a, only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means... You... You must be a nice guy! You must be! You must be! Mr. Nice Guy, please! Deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry. Okay. You got an odd mushroom. A fresh mushroom like this is sure to spoil quickly. Take it to Kakariko Potion Shop, quickly. Alright, so we got three minutes, so hopefully I can do this within the time limit. Actually, I don't need to equip another item. Unfortunately for me, uh, I don't have a magic bean plant outside. And even double unfortunately, if we use any warp songs, we will be instantly out of time. So, yeah, do not use any warp songs. Fortunately for us, though, we do have Epona, which will make this much better. So... Let's try to summon her as fast as we can, so as to not waste any time. And, uh, she should be coming any moment now. There she is! Alright, let's grab Epona. Rotator. 
Come on, don't get stuck. Are you serious? No, 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 no. Oh my god. You gotta be seriously kidding me. I got Epona glitch stuck on a freaking thing. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to kinda... Oh my god, this is gonna freak me out. Alright, so she despawned. I mean, three minutes, it's enough time to get there. Why are you way over there now? Okay. Yeah, it's enough time to get to Kakariko Village, but I mean, it's still not that much time. Okay. Especially when your horse is getting stuck on tree stumps. Like, I was pressing right and left and forward, and she just would not move. Dang, I forgot not to waste all oh come on no 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 i forgot you can't go too fast on sudden changes of elevation otherwise opponent will kind of just freak out <clears throat> but uh i don't know i mean i feel like she should just be able to go up any elevation at any speed or like not any elevation but like any elevation that she could normally go up i feel like she should be able to do it at any speed but whatever let's uh back walk because it is faster Alright. We're almost here. I guess I could calm down a little bit. But it was very frustrating. Oh shoot, how am I gonna get up there? Please be... Oh god, are you serious? What am I gonna do? This is obviously too far for the hookshot to reach. Right? How am I going to get there? Obviously that was a dumb idea. Okay. Seriously, how am I going to... Okay, I can probably do this. I have 25 seconds. Alright. This ought to get us close enough. If opponent just didn't freak out on a tree stump... Are you- oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, good, 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 good. We got five seconds. What? Seriously? Just give it to her! Alright, there you go. That bum. He had to get into the forest. I see. Hey, give it to me now. Alright, yeah, you have five seconds to use it. You did something weird. You're stroking a cat. If you see that fool, give this to him. It's the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. You received an odd potion. You don't know what's going on between that this lady and that guy, but take it to the Lost Woods. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. Alright, so fortunately we do not have a time limit for this. So, we can actually make this faster by, um, whatchamacallit, going, uh, to the warp zone. We're kind of running out of time, but I think we can do it. Alright, Sacred Forest Meadow. And we just gotta get through this thing. The odd potion kind of reminds me of, um, uh, what you call it, magic powder from the older games. I don't need to kill you, we're just kind of there. Please don't- okay. Barely missed. Alright, and then we're gonna just go ahead and use the fast way of um, getting lost, sent to the befronts, bef the beginning, and then just going to the right. So yeah, here now we'll find a forest girl. That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will become lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody, Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. Well, that's 
very disturbing. So that guy became a Stolfos, is what you're telling me. Dang. That guy isn't here anymore. Uh, anyone? Okay, you're gonna say the same thing. So he's not here anymore. Only his saw is left. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was dumb to laugh. That medicine is made of the forest mushrooms. Give it back! Okay. You returned the odd potion and got the poacher saw. The young punk guy must have left this behind. Hehe. <laughs> are you gonna be... Two? <laughs> Why are you so freaking creepy? I mean, I used to live in these woods, so no, I'm not getting lost. Trying to intimidate strangers. That's not very nice. What the heck? We got slam dunked by a tree stump. Well, anyway, or I guess by a tree trunk. I don't know. So I guess that does it for our time in this episode. But in the next episode, we'll continue the side quest and hopefully be able to finish it off. Now, let's see what Navi says real quick. An arctic wind is blowing from Zora's river. Do you feel it? No, I don't. Because I'm in the forest. Well, anyway... So yeah, until next time guys, I'll see you later.